So this is a transcription of the article, Adventures in Unit Testing. The date is December 5th, 2014. I'm quite literally so furiously thinking of ways to explain the funky stuff inside my brain. I couldn't explain. You might understand, though. In fact, I'd wage you will. So I manage a modest multi-site site course solution. There's a lot of shared code. There's also a lot more overrides. And at a certain size, the system must be tested so that I know I'm in control and not my old nemesis. Entry. <clears throat> the only way to know for sure, though, if some piece of code is working properly, is to test it. Test coverage, of course, comes with costs. Time to design it, time to build it, time to test it. Uh, I've been building web tests for the system for years now, and I rolled them into a project last April on GitHub and named it TestStar. It uses NUnit and included some unit testing. It's a web app that works beside my team city server after a build and runs unit tests on it. The integration environment is then updated and web tests were run against it. This uploaded a work from my desktop I was doing to, uh, to a single system that I could run in regular intervals, like daily, fed to an RSS feed, so I had history. The tool works well and does an awful lot of work for me, but I now have a second case for its use and eventually, hopefully, I'll find a third. Over time, I've accumulated a few modules in the Sitecore marketplace. Being able to successfully manage all of these is beginning to require that I automate my testing mostly in the case of unit testing. I typically run a few versions of Sitecore, number versions. I include my projects from a Git root, and this way I can include each multiple times into other solutions. And if I add tests to those projects, when I run a build, all the files I need will be in any given environment. So the easiest way to test this is to have a modular Sitecore site that lives in each of these environments and tests itself and other sites. And this way, it's consolidated plus, big plus, you can query for items and quite thoroughly test live content. My first iteration of TestStar also had batch scripting ability. If I wire that up in some friendly way or uh, add PowerShell scripting, I'll be back to sleeping at night. Maybe. After a time, I plan to release the latest source as a module, fully tested and ready for the daily grind. Part of this involves doing some of my favorite work, UI, UX, or whatever nomenclature you prefer. For this, I'm riffing off Mass Effect, uh, Mass Effect 2 and GJ Jazzy Jet. I haven't decided what background works, but here's where I'm at. So this is, this is the home page. There really isn't much there yet. Uh, there's same thing with test results. Eventually, the test results will show uh, you know the, everything you've been doing chronologically so that you can kind of search it. Uh, the unit tests, so I have this uh, generate script. So we give this a name. Uh, <laughs> right, so it, it gives you a little error uh, here if you, when it tries to create the script, and here it's telling me that I need to provide at least one test call. So let's do that and uh, I can run it. Oh, okay, now I generate the script. Oh, that works. Uh, web testing, similar, as a scripting, uh, generate script here. Uh, let's say you go and you want to ping these sites. All right, that works. Okay, now I want to create a script from that. Oh, great. I've got a script. So uh, these scripts here right now are batch. They um, converting them to PowerShell, uh, but uh, so far, so good. 